Hey you, streamer, come here. Stop doxing yourself when you're showing your screen. Here's how to set up a blur filter to automatically activate when you switch from your chatting scene to your PC display. First, we'll need to download the Composite Blur plugin. This will give you access to a variety of blur filters, including what I like to use, the Pixel 8 filter. You can download the plugin here and to install, you're gonna to head to the releases section and choose the right asset for your system. Extract the file and run the installer to get it ready to go. Now that you've got that installed, we're gonna create the blur filter. We're gonna put this on your PC source so that it activates across all of your scenes. Select your gaming PC scene or whatever display that you use for display capture on stream and select filters. Right click and select the composite blur. For simplicity, let's call this filter blur and then tap okay. Now you can mess with the blur algorithm that you prefer and fiddle with the settings until you're happy. Once that's done, let's create a multi-action button with Elgato Stream Deck. Drag over a multi-action switch button and create a scene switch action and then a filter enable action. This means when you switch from full screen cam to your gaming PC, your screen will already be blurred. In the second part of the multi-action switch, we'll make a filter disable button so that you can use the same button to turn the blur off once you know it's safe for your audience to see your screen. While you're on this scene, you can use that same multi-action switch for enabling and disabling the filter without the need for a secondary button. This can also be super useful if you're playing a game and there's sudden nudity or anything else you may not feel safe broadcasting. The multi-action part of it is completely optional, but if you can't be trusted, it is a good fail safe. Just don't forget to toggle it off if there's no one around in chat to tell you that you've left it on accidentally. No more accidentally showing your postcodes or your passwords. You're welcome.